Hi, I'm Christine Kennedy. I'm here with Jose Garces, and we are at the newly expanded Tinto on 20th and Sansom. And uh, this is very exciting. This is a lot more space for you. It's a great space, and it was a uh, kind of a long time coming. It was uh, it's tough to build here in Philly, so we actually expected to open this six months ago. And when it happened, it nearly brought a tear to my eye. I'm really <laughs> Uh, so I, got, I want to go back in time and talk a little bit about how you started out. So you grew up in Chicago? Yes. Uh, born and raised in Chicago. Uh, my parents are both Ecuadorian. Um, grew up there, went to culinary school uh, in Chicago, uh, Kendall College. Upon leaving culinary school, I went to Spain for a year. I cooked for about a year. Uh, was in New York for about six years just kind of honing my skills, working the line, various different establishments. And then I came here for my first chef position at Alma de Cuba, mm -hmm. which was it opened in 2001. Right. Opened Amada in 2005 and Tinto in 2007. Has uh, Philadelphia influenced your cooking and what you've decided to do? Uh, I would say Philadelphia has influenced me in that um, I really, uh, I don't know that it's, it's influenced my cooking as much. Uh, I started here for the Star Restaurant Group, so it was a pretty like business mentality and kind of a market study of what the market gives you. So um, Philadelphians just love they love food yeah. in general. So and they're also uh, really great and loyal patrons and. I would say like the move to like stay here permanently in Philadelphia is hugely influenced by our customers that come back to the restaurants and are able to appreciate and enjoy what we do and so that's that's how it has influenced me. I have noticed speaking about um, Mexican food in Philadelphia that um, primarily the Mexican food in Philadelphia is from the Puebla region. Yes. Have you found that too? Well there's uh, many Pueblans that live here, uh, many. So I've gotten to know quite a few while living here in Philadelphia, and I, I would say that that's probably the main reason. There's just, uh, there was a huge Pueblan immigration that ended up in Philadelphia. I'm actually writing a cookbook that's coming out in the fall. It's called um, Latin Evolution, and it really speaks to your question, which is um, we take traditional recipes, and kind of evolve them a little bit. But one of the topics is how Spain kind of influenced a lot of these Latin American countries and how that's one factor in which really kind of ties all of these different, you know, from Spanish to Mexican to the Caribbean and South America, there is some like Spanish influence throughout all those um, cultures. And um, so that's kind of how we, that's one premise amongst many others that really make make them all kind of tie in together. Um, so let's talk a little bit about your new restaurant. It's opening in West Philadelphia. It's at uh, 40th and Chestnut and it's opening in July maybe? Possibly July if uh, all things go well, but it's hard to really narrow down. They, but that's what we're shooting for. And um, yeah, it's called Distrito and it's a Mexican concept and it's inspired by all things that are Mexico City and some things that aren't, but mostly Distrito, short for Distrito Federal, which is another name for Mexico City. So it has a lot of this like fun uh, urban urban elements, such as uh, you know we do like a theme on the Mexican wrestlers. We have the Mexican wrestler mask wall. We have um, a VW bug that's uh, in the restaurant as well. VW bugs are like the the taxi of Mexico City. And there's uh, a number of other elements. I don't want to give away too many surprises, but it it has like a lot of like fun elements, and it's just gonna be like a huge party every night. Okay. So it's I'm really really excited about it, and I really I'm a huge fan of Mexican food. Not only do I enjoy cooking, but I'm just a fan of it. So it's um it's gonna be fun to have somewhere that I really like to go to. <laughs> Um, so last thing, I guess the uh, James Beard Award, that's very awesome that you've gotten nominated two years in a row for Best Chef Mid-Atlantic. So um, is that something that kind of adds to your sense of accomplishment or is it just kind of a really nice um, after effect of all the hard work that you've put in? 
It's it's a really big deal. It's um, it's a very um, I'm very honored to have been nominated twice now, um, and it just it kind of like um, it does put the icing on the cake, you know, so to speak. But it's um, it's just a, I'm like hugely honored. I couldn't be more honored to be in that group, to be noticed by my peers and other fellow um, people in the hospitality industry. So it's. Um, Usually honored and can't wait to for the awards in June. But you're staying in Philly. I'm, I'm, I'm here. Yeah. No, I'm. Uh, I've actually. Um, we're we've just purchased a home and we're like this is like our last move for. Who knows forever. <laughs> okay, well thanks a lot. It's been really great talking to you and uh, good luck with the cookbook and with the award ceremony and uh, with the expansion of Tinta. Thank you very much. Bye.